Morning. I'm at Lirup with uh, Keith, and we're heading off for a Hobie sailing camping trip. So probably three days on the water, two nights. We we're planning on six, but a few things got in the way, so that didn't happen. Yeah, we're all rigged up. We've got all our camping gear, all our food. We're ready to go. So here we go. There's our driver, John. Your way a bit more. Looks like you're putting the boat down into quicksand. <laughs> a solid surface there. It's underwater. It's early August, it's bloody cold, and the river is totally flooded. Banks are really high and there's a strong current out there. Oh, well, there it is, floating on duckweed. See you, John. See you next week. <laughs> Let's see how much goes wrong on this trip. My only real concern is that the main's going to catch on my sleeping roll, so I might have to play with that. See what happens. I'll be able to push it around. Now it's floating. Whoop, there's the edge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate, jump aboard. I'll get in. Yep. Oh, this is the easiest launch ever. <laughs> I've been wanting to take Keith out on a trip like this for quite a while and I can't think of a better person to do my first Hobie camping trip with. Keith is a hardcore adventurer, he lives for things like this, he's a local and he regularly kayaks this river. Keith planned our route for this trip, we're going to do about 100 kilometres. I know he's got the fitness and the resilience to handle something like this. Keep paddling Keith, keep paddling. Wind and current have us. This current is pretty damn strong. Our route's only going to be going downstream because there's no way we're going to be able to paddle against it. The rudder's being a bitch. That rudder's always a bitch. Stop being a cow. Oh, what's going on here? Fucking rudder. That's as far as it goes. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, we're gonna have to go back and fix this rudder. Pulled in out of the wind because the rudder's not working. I'm just gonna troubleshoot and fix the rudder in this nice little alcove, little bay. Perfect landing spot. Even a good camping spot here. We can always stop here and camp anyway. Yeah. I'm just relaxing on the front seat while Alex does the running repairs. Done a field repair on the rudder because the rudder wouldn't turn, wouldn't go down. I always seem to have problems with that rudder. I think at some point I'm going to have to just pull it out and totally restring it. It's not perfect. It, I can't work out why the hell it won't do it, but it just won't lock down all the way. And it's super hard to pull it in out. Dodgy thing. But I guess that's part of the fun. It's getting annoyed and frustrated. <laughs> oh, no. Nah. It broke. Didn't even, yeah, thing didn't even move. It just broke. The fucker up before you get caught in the current. I'm going to cheat and just tie it on externally. I think. <sighs> prick, 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 prick. I've got an external light now hooked onto the rudder lockdown, which I'll just manually sort out, and it just runs forward to the cockpit. Hopefully, this is the last drama for the trip hopefully that works guess we'll find out and I have to get some leverage on this so I might pass it under here some leg paddle all right now I think that's locked touch wood <laughs> it's still not down all the way though There's something wrong with that rudder is that not catching no. Shall we try some sailing? See if it works. All right. I'll need you to drop the keel, which is that black handle by your right hand. So lift it up. Oh, that thing. Yep. Lift the knob and pull it all the way back. Uh, could you let go of the rudder, man? A lot of weather helm. Get on for attack. So it's barely controllable. Yeah, as soon as the wind catches me, I can't control the boat. Oh, 
but it's not locked down properly. Like, it's got to lock down hard. And for some reason, this rut has always been a cow for it. And, and because it's not locked down properly, it creates weather helm. So the rudder's always under pressure. Therefore, the lines from the steering column stretch and you very quickly get too much play in it. And it makes the boat pretty much uncontrollable. Most annoying. Okay, so we've spent most of the morning re-rigging this rudder system. It was pretty horrible underneath. So we just pulled it all apart and just re-rigged the whole thing. Look at this. Rudder up rudder down and locked and it steers Woohoo! <laughs> big test I think the rudder's down oh my god we have steering freaking amazing oh my god we're actually sailing <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. now she's happy Thank God for that. Oh God, that's cold on my hands. A lot of dirty air here in the river. Be more fun with it behind us than in front of us. Rudder feels good. No weather helm this time. No idea what time it is, but we've been rooting around for a while. But I guess that's just sailing. Tucking. Tack. That worked well. Rudder's working. It works. Oh, so good to be sailing. Just drifting along the river, not having to do any pedalling or paddling. Sail is sail and the current is taking us along. Oh, good timing, pelicans. Cruising down the beautiful Murray River, making really good speed here with the wind behind us at the moment. Keith's in charge. I got a pelican flying along there. There, yeah, eagles flying along the cliff face. That's a paragliding launch up there. Oh yeah, there's a spot you can launch a paraglider if you if you game. Yeah, now sailing was a misadventure. Now it's becoming an adventure. So we're just going to cruise down the river for a while and maybe stop somewhere for lunch. Uh, because we're on the inside now, we're out of the wind. I'm going to do a jive. You're, you're on the wrong side of the river. So in case there's any other river traffic, we don't want to have a head on. <laughs> but they have to give way to sailboats. You automatically have right away. Gee, the sail doesn't want to come over. No, because the wind's changed. Remember, it funnels as you go around in the river. So try and stick, see where you see the waves running across the surface of the water. That's where you want to hang around. That's where you got your wind. Coming into the town of Berry, it's 2 p.m. and we've only done about 10 k's from our start point. We were going to stop at River Jack's Cafe for morning tea, but I guess now it's afternoon tea. Is there enough space for us? Probably not. Nah. All right, I'll get you to go up the bow and uh, grab that post there. Well done. Great spot to stop for lunch. Food and coffee here is fantastic. Met a couple here that were taking a few months over sailing down the river. Went and checked out their boat as well. Look at this cute little boat. So they're um, spending a month or two on this, just slowly cruising down the river. It's a sailboat with no, uh, no sail aboard. Passing under the bridge at Berry. Just a tiny bit of breeze. Plenty of clearance. Lock 4 is still in front of us and it closes at 4.30. So we have to get there in time, otherwise we're going to get stuck. There are birds everywhere. Look at them all. So we're approaching block four. Um, we're not sure if it uh, closes at four or four thirty. It's nearly four o'clock. Keith's just going to give them a ring, and hopefully they'll let us through. Then we can keep going. Otherwise, we're going to have to pitch tent. Sailing kayak. We're just one kilometre upstream, and 
be there in about five minutes, that'd be okay. Thank you very much. Okay. See ya. All good? All good. Awesome. Looks like we're getting through the lock today. Let's fill this sail. We've got a green light. Boom gates are open. Looks like we're clear to go in. Yeah, I'd say so. How far are you going today? Oh, until we get sick of it. <laughs> and then uh, try to go to uh, Marook tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. That way. Are you going to go through the caddy? Are you thinking, or are you going to go through Loxton? Through Loxton, I think. Oh, I right, know, yeah. Be safe. Enjoy your trip. Will do. Weather's well, coming really nice now. <laughs> Like on the side there, I was waiting for the water level to go down on the side. Not much of a difference. <laughs> Through the lock and back underway. Jiving, 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 jiving. There we go, looks like we've got a kayaking expedition. Set up camp on the riverbank here. These guys weren't very friendly, started yelling out at us, so we just continued on. Been a day of easy sailing with a tailwind most of the time, but now it's getting dark, so better find a campsite. Got some dry firewood in my tub, looking forward to using that. A little bit of drizzle coming down. A little bit of a campy going. Hopefully it doesn't get snuffed out by the drizzle. Been a lovely day on the river. How many k's do you reckon we did? Uh, 24. 24? Yeah, not bad. How'd you find your first day on the on the Hobie? Oh, very good. After sorting out all our dramas, it turned into a really fantastic day of sailing. Yeah, really enjoyed the time on the water. Really good for the soul. We've settled into a nice quiet campsite with the strong smell of eucalyptus and bird songs in the background. Nice hot meal. And we'll be up and at it again in the morning. 75 k's to go.